The German cockroach, Blatella germanica, is a small species of cockroach, typically about 1.1 to 1.6 cm long. In color it varies from tan to almost black, and it has two dark, roughly parallel, streaks on the pronotum running anteroposteriorly from behind the head to the base of the wings. Although B. germanica has wings, it can barely fly, although it may glide when disturbed. Of the few species of cockroach that are domestic pests, it probably is the most widely troublesome example. The German cockroach occurs widely in human buildings, but is particularly associated with restaurants, food processing facilities, hotels, and institutional establishments such as nursing homes. In cold climates, they occur only near human dwellings, because they cannot survive severe cold. The cockroach's sensitivity to cold might reflect its origin from such warm climates and its spread as a domiciliary pest since ancient times has resulted from incidental human transport and shelter. The species now is cosmopolitan in distribution, occurring as a household pest on all continents except Antarctica, and on many major islands, as well. It accordingly has been given various names in the cultures of many regions. Though nocturnal, the German cockroach occasionally appears by day, especially if the population is crowded or has been disturbed. Bladelequinone also known as Gentis ilquinone isovalorate, sex pheromone of the German cockroach. Bladelaquinone is secreted by females to attract male cockroaches. German cockroaches are omnivorous scavengers. They are attracted particularly to meats, starches, sugars, and fatty foods. Where a shortage of foodstuff exists, they may eat household items such as soap, glue, and toothpaste. In famine conditions, they turn cannibalistic chewing at each other's wings and legs. The German cockroach reproduces faster than any other residential cockroach, growing from egg to reproductive adult in roughly 50-60 days. Once fertilized, a female German cockroach develops an oothica in her abdomen. The abdomen swells as her eggs develop, until the translucent tip of the oothica begins to protrude from the end of her abdomen, and by that time the eggs inside are fully sized about 1-4 inch long with 16 segments. A small percentage of the nymphs may hatch while the oothica is still attached to the female, but the majority emerge some 24 hours after it has detached from the female's body. The newly hatched 3 mm long black nymphs then progress through 6 or 7 in stars before becoming sexually mature, but ectasis is such a hazardous process that nearly half the nymphs die of natural causes before reaching adulthood. Molted skins and dead nymphs are sunitum by living nymphs present at the time of molding. The German cockroach is very successful at establishing an ecological niche in buildings, and is resilient in the face of many pest control measures. Reasons include, lack of natural predators in a human habitat, prolific reproduction, short reproductive cycle, the ability to hide in very small refuges, sexual maturity attained within several weeks, and adaptation and resistance to some chemical pesticides. German cockroaches are thigmatactic, meaning they prefer confined spaces, and they are small compared to other pest species so they can hide within small cracks and crevices that are easy to overlook, thereby evading humans and their eradication efforts. Conversely, the seasoned pest controller is alert for cracks and crevices where it is likely to be profitable to place baits or spray surfaces. To be effective, control measures must be comprehensive, sustained, and systematic. Survival of just a few eggs is quite enough to regenerate a nearly exterminated pest population within a few generations and recolonization from surrounding populations often is very rapid, too. Another problem in controlling German cockroaches is the nature of their population behavior. Though they are not social and practice no organized maternal care, females carry oothesia of 18-50 eggs, average about 32, during incubation until just before hatching. Instead of dropping them as most other species of cockroaches do, this protects the eggs from certain classes of predation. Then, after hatching, nymphs largely survive by consuming excretions and molts from adults, thereby establishing their own internal microbial populations and avoiding contact with most insecticidal surface treatments and baits. One effective control is insect growth regulators, hydroprene, methoprene, etc., which act by preventing molting thus prevent maturation of the various ink stars. Cocking baseboards and around pipes may prevent the travel of adults from one apartment to another within a building.